Naruto, Tenjutsu that don't make sense. Jutsu are the ways that ninja fight against each other and enemies in Naruto, although not every jutsu actually makes sense in the show. In Naruto, jutsu are the attacks that ninja use, with each jutsu being powered by chakra. A ninja who has a greater chakra reserve can perform greater and more powerful jutsu. While there is a system in place that attempts to make these powers make sense, there are some things about the special attacks that are not very logical. There are a few jutsu shown in the series that don't make any sense at all. These attacks may be strange, useless, or illogical, but none of them seem like something a ninja should use. Even though these jutsu might be odd, they occasionally come in handy in a fight. 10. Super Beast Scroll Drawing in the middle of a fight could cause a person to be attacked. This is a jutsu that's often used by Sai, Sasuke's replacement on Team 7. The jutsu allows the user to bring drawings to life. Sai often uses the jutsu to give him back up in a fight. The jutsu is powerful and seems to work well for Sai but would be impractical in a fight. Sai is constantly having to draw new monsters. Sometimes during a fight. It really typically a good idea to stop in the middle of a fight to start drawing. Sai can produce these drawings quickly. Sai having to produce these drawings at such speed should affect the quality of his drawings. But it never does. 9. Raisingan it makes no sense you can't throw this jutsu. The Raisingan is a powerful jutsu created by the fourth Hokage, Minato and Naruto uses the jutsu often in fights. The powerful jutsu has one downside. It isn't a long-range attack. No one can throw the jutsu so its user must get up close and personal to use it. Naruto is told that there is no way to throw a Raisingan, but it is never fully explained why that is the case. The comment makes even less sense after Baruto manages to successfully throw the jutsu. 8. Living Corpse Reincarnation, Orochimaru should have been easily able to possess another person. This jutsu is the one that Orochimaru uses to possess the body of another person. The action of possessing other people has allowed Orochimaru to live longer than his natural lifespan. Orochimaru had planned on using the jutsu to take over Sasuke's body, but Sasuke managed to destroy him first. A jutsu requires a lot of development, which usually includes testing, before it can be used. Orochimaru somehow manages to create this jutsu, and trust it, without knowing it could work. Somehow Orochimaru can take over people's bodies without their consent, and they can do nothing to fight him once he's possessed them. There should have been some natural defense against Orochimaru's possession of another person's body. 7. Dead Demon Consuming Seal The jutsu costs a person their life but is still used by many people. This sealing jutsu was created by the Uzumaki clan. The user has part of their soul removed from their bodies. Which is then transformed into Shinigami. Shinigami then kills both the person who summoned him and the person they are using the jutsu against. This jutsu is probably considered forbidden. But there are still people who use this jutsu. It is the jutsu that kills both the third and fourth Hokage. Somehow, someone manages to develop and pass on this jutsu despite the fact that the jutsu costs the user their life. Six. Summoning Jutsu, this jutsu takes away the independence of self-aware animals. The summoning jutsu is occasionally used by the main characters of the series. The jutsu requires the ninja to enter into a consensual contract with an animal. With the ninja then summoning the animal and makes use of its powers. Sasuke, Naruto, Sakura, and Kakashi are just some of the ninja that make use of this jutsu. It seems a bit odd that these self-aware animals would allow ninja to make use of them in this way. Once entering the contract, the animals seem to lose some of control over themselves and get nothing in return. 
5. Creation Rebirth, the powerful jutsu, does not have much of a consequence. This technique was invented by Tsunade, who taught it to her student, Sakura. These are the only two people who have ever been seen using this ability. As this jutsu requires a lot of chakra, the user, to store their chakra. Once enacted, creation rebirth allows a person to heal their allies. It stimulates the reproduction of cells in other people and shortens the life of the jutsu's user. The jutsu can save someone from death, but seems to have little impact on the jutsu's user. Other than shortening the lifespan, such a powerful jutsu should have a greater impact. 4. Susanu, a person, can create this person-like structure and then completely control it. The Susanu is a product of the Kekiai Genkai carried by members of the Uchiha clan. The Susanu forms a giant shield-like projection around the Jutsu's user. The projection is made of chakra. The Susanu can be formed in part or completely. The Susanu can only be formed by certain members of the Uchiha clan. People like Sasuke and Itachi. The person-like structure created by the Jutsu is very odd. The producer of the Susanu seems to have little impact over what the Susanu looks like or how powerful it is. Yet the person can control the structure. 3. Whack-a-mole technique, the Jutsu didn't cause any real damage to Tobi's enemies. The whack-a-mole technique was used by Tobi against a group of Kanoha shinobi. Tobi was transported quickly around the battlefield. All the while hitting people with a stick. Kakashi pointed out the name was odd since it was the mole doing the whacking. The jutsu was probably meant more as a joke, but it seemed fairly useless. Tobi's ability to move that quickly would have been useful, but he did not seem to cause any damage to the people he was attacking. 2. Sexy Jutsu, this jutsu seems to work better than it should. Naruto created this jutsu as a child and he has used the jutsu to effectively distract a variety of men. The jutsu even seems to work against the third Hokage. A man who shouldn't have been affected by such a juvenile action. Naruto does not seem to understand why the jutsu works but continues to use it anyway. The jutsu ends up being a lot more useful than it should be. A version of this jutsu even comes in useful when battling Kagaya. 1. Substitution Jutsu The jutsu works despite an enemy ninja's ability to counteract it. The substitution jutsu was one of the first jutsu used in the show. Kakashi often uses it during the early episodes of Naruto. The jutsu allows a ninja to exchange themselves for something else, like a log or bunny, and the exchanged item will then take the weight of an oncoming attack. A substituted item always seems to be ready to be used. A rival ninja should be able to recognize the hand signs before the jutsu takes effect. Despite the time it would take to weave the hand signs, ninjas always seem to be able to perform this jutsu before an enemy's attack reaches them. <laughs> 